Okay, good morning, everybody. How's it, how's it going? My name's Tucker Gumber. I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I am the founder of Free For All Fitness. So uh, Free For All Fitness is a live online workout platform. Uh, we do things a little differently. We are, our mission is to bring fitness to people of all income levels. So we actually make our, our classes free. And at the end of class, you can tip if you're financially able. So um, the mission behind all of that is just, just to, to really make fitness easy right from your own home with live instructors. Uh, and today we're really excited to uh, lead a class for you. Now, before we bring our awesome instructor, uh, Laura, on, um, I want to let everyone know we do have a corporate wellness account. Um, and what this does is it lets employers empower their employees to get into great shape. So we, we offer private classes that you can use as team building, and then um, you can reward people for going through our public classes. So every month you could say, you know, if you do six workouts, you get lunch. If you do 10, you get a hundred bucks, like whatever you want to do. So hit me up if that's interesting. Um, Jenny, go ahead and bring on Laura and Gabby for me, please. Okay. Awesome. So, uh, Laura, uh, uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. My name is Laura. Um, I am one of the free for all coaches. I live in Cleveland, Ohio. I've been a personal trainer for about 10 years and was really excited to get an opportunity to work with Tucker and free for all. I absolutely love fitness. Uh, like I said, I've been an athlete my whole life, coach for 10 years. Um, and it's been a really great opportunity to help people train right in the comfort of their own home and office. So thank you guys for having me. Awesome. Yeah, we're really excited. So, uh, um, and, and Gabby's going to go through the workout with us. Um, uh, she's uh, she's uh, one of our, our um, testimonials. Gabby, what do you think of uh, free for all in the, in the workouts? Um, as someone who has, you know, just worked out casually my whole life, usually going to the gym, I can 100% say that having the workouts at home with a personal trainer really makes the biggest difference. Um, one, definitely in this, you know, environment uh, with what's happening in the world right now. And, and two, it's just a fantastic workout that you really wouldn't have, that I personally never would have gotten uh, on my own. So thanks for having this available. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show everyone the, the real beauty of free for all fitness. You are a costume change away from being ready to work out. So Laura, are you ready to, to take us through a, a, you know, 20 minute workout here? I am ready. Awesome. All right. I'm going to change the camera angle. There it goes. Such a quick change. <laughs> and uh, everyone, Normally we do have um, music available uh, because we're, we're using Zoom, so that's not not available now. But just know for our workouts we normally do. But Laura, uh, you're on, and All everybody right. join with us. Uh, All right. well, I have, I've programmed a, a program that I think is going to be great for people that are sitting at a desk all day. So I want to really focus on, on ways that we can strengthen our body after we're sitting all day, different muscle groups that you guys should be working on to become more proficient in your everyday lives. So we're all going to start just standing up nice and tall. I want you all to draw your belly button in towards your spine. So nice and tight through your core. And we're going to take a couple of big reverse arm circles as you start to just breathe in and out. So as we sit at a desk all day, we know that we're sitting and we're crouched forward at our computer and that really tightens all of our front chest muscles and it is, uh, as a result, really loosens out our back muscles. So let's start to go forward with those arm swings. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna try to open up the chest here today and then same thing with our quads. Our quads get really tight from sitting. So we're gonna open those up as well. Go ahead and take that right arm, swing it up and over your head, and then alternate with your left. Just really mobilizing through the shoulders. Um, I'm gonna try to keep us up on our feet for as long as possible today as well, uh, so that if you're working from your office or you wanna get a little workout in, it's not like you have to be on the ground at all. Moving in the transverse plane here, guys, bring your arms up to your shoulders and then tighten that core as you rock side to side here. So just kind of waking up the entire body from the top down. Making sure that you're feeling tight through that core, using your obliques to rock side to side. And then when you guys are ready, I want you all to take a soft bend through those knees and drive your butt back, hinge towards the ground, and then take a big stretch towards the ceiling. So 
There we go. Feel like you're sticking your butt back towards the wall. Stand it on up. Squeeze your glutes at the top. And then reset right back down. Keeping that back nice and flat as you hinge. Perfect. Nice, Gabby. Feeling like we're reaching up towards the ceiling. Good. And on that next rep, guys, we're just going to widen our stance about shoulder distance apart. Reach those arms forward. We're going to squat down and then stand it right back up. Now, everyone's mobility is a little bit different here. So what we want to focus on is, again, those hips coming back and the knees staying behind the front of your toes. So some people may be a little bit less low. Some people might be able to get a little bit deeper into the squat. Wherever your mobility allows, just focusing on some good controlled breathing as we come down and drive back up. Let's go two more of those. Good, guys. On your next rep, let's go some hip opening circles. So like you're jumping up and over a fence, I want you to draw your right knee in towards your body and then to the side. And we're just going to work on that right side. So really holding stability again tight through that core as you draw in and out. Beautiful. The mobility has gotten so much better. I've been working with Tucker and Gabby now for, gosh, three months and just seeing the difference in, you, in your movement patterns, guys, moving to the left on this next leg. It's been great to see. This is just like really awesome and fun to watch people progress through their movements. We got one more thing to warm us up here. On your next rep, let's take it right into some jumping jacks. About 20 seconds here, guys, and then we'll get into the main circuit. Good, we got 10 seconds to go here. Perfect, control that breathing down to four, three, two, and one, rest. All right, everyone, so we're gonna go two different circuits today. Our first circuit is going to be a mobility and kind of muscle correction circuit. We're gonna go 30 seconds of each of the following exercises with about a five second break. So we're gonna roll pretty quickly through, um, but again, focusing on really good form through all of our movements, all right? First movement is going to be a forward stepping lunge with an overhead reach, all right? So we're gonna step all the way forward, dropping that back knee, as you stand back or as you come down, you're going to reach up, let those shoulders roll down and back and then reset by bringing the arms down. All right. If you're not lunging, option two, go into a front bend with a straight leg for your back leg. So we always have modifications for you guys. Uh, for the second movement, we're going to hit those hamstrings and glutes. So I want everyone to put their hands behind their head. Keeping that back nice and flat, we're going to go into a hinge like we did in the warm up and then one squat. So we're alternating between those hamstrings and then the squat down low, all right? Exercise three, we're gonna go lateral squats. So everyone's gonna widen their stance. You're gonna draw those hips down to the side and stand and then alternating side to side. So just opening up those hips in a different direction. And our final movement, guys, for uh, this first circuit, two options. So again, if you're working uh, at a desk, you can go a plank against your desk we're gonna hold nice and high, and then you're tapping side to side shoulder taps. If you wanna work from the ground, same rules apply down to your plank, shoulder taps from the ground to make it a little more challenging, all right? Every 30 seconds, we're gonna switch here, guys, starting with those forward stepping lunges and overhead raises. All right, Gabby and Tucker, here we go, moving in three, two, and one, let's go. Big forward stepping lunge, draw in through your belly button. Breathe in as you come down, big exhale to raise. Good, and it's that mindful raise here, guys. So feeling like those shoulder blades are squeezing together, reaching up like you're gonna tap onto the ceiling. 10 seconds here, beautiful. Focusing on getting that back knee all the way down. We got five seconds, three, two, and one, rest. All right, guys, going into your hinges. So one hinge forward, hinge forward, stand and squat. In two, one, let's go. Good, so that hinge, we keep those arms pulled back to keep the back nice and flat. And then as we stand for that squat, chest stays nice and high, keeping that gaze forward. Perfect, nice, Gabby, good job keeping that slight bend that's gonna turn those hamstrings on here, guys. Good, deep breath in and out. Five seconds to go on this one. Good, we got four, three, two, and one. All right, widen those stances for our lateral squats. So nice and wide, two, one, 
Hinge to the side, stand it up. So the chest is gonna come a little bit lower as you go into these lateral squats. From the side, I want you guys to feel like, again, you're sitting back into a chair, standing up and then resetting down. So we're really greasing up those hips right now. We got 10 seconds here. Beautiful, and then that core is what's helping you bring your body back up right down to three, two, and one, good guys. All right, going into that plank with your shoulder taps. You can also go up against a wall if you don't wanna come completely to the ground. Three, two, and one, here we go. Good, so again, if you wanna hold that table, if you're working at a desk, alternating side to side, the focus here is that we're keeping the core tight and not letting our hips shift from side to side. That's perfect, Gabby. Nice control. Good, Tucker. Feeling like you're rolling those shoulders back. So we don't want to uh, hinge forward with the shoulders, but everything pulls back. Engaging through that posterior chain here. We got three, two, and one. All right, guys. Second time through for this mobility circuit. Two of two. We're going back to our forward stepping lunges. Moving in five seconds. Three, two, and one, all right, so now our bodies know what to do. I want you to take that big stretch all the way up, tight through your core. We're feeling like you're driving off of that front leg, all right, so that weight comes into your heels and then really press back up, stand, alternating legs. Nice, good. Good, so that stability comes from our core. Nice big reach, we got 10 seconds here. Great, guys, good job. Nice, good job with the breath, Gabby. Three, two, and one. All right, going back to that hinge into your squat. So a mobility movement here. Three, two, and one. Here we go. So now we're warm. We're starting to feel good. Play around with that uh, positioning of your move. Maybe we get a little bit lower into that squat. Really feel like you're squeezing your butt to raise it on up. And then keeping that back nice and flat. Everything pulls together as you come into your squat and your hinge here. Good. That lift, guys, we're really feeling like the, the core is what's driving us straight up from that hinge position. Down to three, two, and one. Good. All right, moving into your lateral squats. Set that stance a little bit wider. Two, one, hinge down, stand it up. Good. So we're driving off of that outside, the outer upper area of our glutes. It's our glute med. It's a little bit of a smaller muscle, but still really important to be working for that full functional fitness. 10 seconds to go here, guys. Nice and even on both sides. Making sure the weight stays in your heels. Beautiful. Nice, Tucker. Good. We got three, two, and one. Good. All right. Coming down to the ground for those plank shoulder taps. All right. Last one for this first circuit. We got three, two, and one. Ready? Go. So if you've taken any of my classes before, you know that I'm a big fan of cardio movement. This first circuit is really about slow, controlled moves, uh, trying to target each of the biggest of our muscle groups so that we're really getting ready for the workout and we're training our bodies to move proficiently. Um, so it's a little bit of a slower pace in terms of our moves, but still challenging different body parts as we go. We got five seconds here. Beautiful, Gabby. Nice job with the hips. Three, two. And one, good, all right guys, grab some water, shake it out. Now we're gonna get into the good stuff, all right? So I've added a little bit more of a strength and metabolic component to this next circuit to get you guys going, get you in and out, feeling good like you burned some calories and you're ready to go. So we're still gonna go 30 seconds a piece for each of these moves, four movements, all right? Your first move is going to be an inchworm walkout to a push up. all right? So you're gonna drop your hands down to the ground, feet are shoulder width apart, you're gonna walk all the way out to that plank position. Plank position, there we go, one push up, and then you're walking right back up. All right, if you are not working from the ground, same rules apply, you can go right here from a, table, from a table top position, and then just work a push up. You can walk your hands up, tap your toes, stand, and then reset right back into that plank, all right? So always working those modifications. Your second movement, guys, is going to be lateral bounds, so we start to get the heart rates up. So you're gonna start off to the left. As you jump, you're gonna land on that outside leg, soft landing with that knee, moving side to side. It's a quicker movement, all right? Catching and holding through that core. 
From there, we're gonna go a reverse lunge with a twist. So we're gonna bring those arms up, step back with your right leg, twist towards the left. Step back with your left, twist towards the right. We're just engaging through a different plane of motion there. And then our last movement is gonna be a pulsing squat jump ladder, all right? So we're gonna come down, one pulse, jump. Down, two pulses, jump. Then we add three pulses. So every time you come down, you're adding a pulse. If you're not jumping, just standing or coming up onto your toes works perfectly fine. All right, here we go. Heart rate's coming up on this one, starting with those inchworm walkouts, or if you wanna just do push-ups, that's fine too. Here we go, guys. Three, two, and one, let's go. So the part of the inchworm walkout, the important part of this is that we're really turning on the hamstrings. Um, our leg muscles get tight as we sit in the chair, in our chairs, desk chairs every day. So we're just adding some mobility and some flexibility to a strength movement. So take your time, trying to keep your heels on the ground as long as you can as you walk out, which is really gonna lengthen those muscles. Nice, good, core stays tight as you press up. Perfect, Tucker. Two, one, and rest. Good job, guys. All right, now we go into our more heart rate move, those lateral bounds side to side. Three, two, and one, let's go. Good, so this is where we start to get that heart rate up, absorbing into that squat, side to side. Catch yourself, hold tight through your core. That's it, good, yes. Playing around with the distance. Maybe you can jump a little bit further or sink a little bit lower. Just feel your body and move what's comfortable for you. 10 seconds, nice work, everyone. Good, Gabby, nice hold. Five seconds, three, two, and one. All right, quick little shake out. Bring those arms up to your shoulder level for your reverse lunge and twisting towards the leg that's forward. Two, one, ready, go. All right, so take your time on this one. As you step back, hold that stability, take your twist, and then stand. Perfect, Tucker, yep, that's great. Drop back, tight through your core, and then stand. So the point of keeping the arms high is to force that chest up, shoulders back. Focusing on that good posture that sometimes we lose when we're sitting in front of our phones or our computers. Five seconds here. Three, two, and one, all right, now to my favorite move, the squat jump ladder. All right, so we're pulsing at the bottom, five seconds. Three, two, and one, let's go. We come down for one pulse, add that jump, two pulses, and then jump. Three, two, one, and jump. Good, so you're adding a pulse on every single ladder. So we're just adding a little bit of that isometric hold, getting deep into those muscles. You count on your own, Great way to challenge yourself. Maybe you get a little bit higher or you add an extra pulse, moving a little bit quicker. Perfect, focusing on a nice external rotation through those knees. Two, one, and rest. Good job, guys. All right, going into round two. Looking good, guys. Here we go. Five seconds, inchworm walkouts to a push-up. We got three, two, and one. Let's go. Keeping those legs nice and straight. And as we push up, shoulders pull back for that push up to engage through the posterior chain as well as your chest. Yeah, there we go, good. Now as you guys press up from that push up, as we start to fatigue, I want you to think about tightening through your core and squeezing your butt as you lift so that the core and your entire body stays in that perfect plank. Three, two, one. All right, up to your feet, a couple deep breaths. Going into those lateral bounds, we're picking up that pace here. Three, two, and one, let's go. Focus on the breathing, guys. We're catching, soft bend through that outside knee, and then moving on from there. So thinking like an athlete, thinking about movements that are gonna help you be uh, move, move better throughout your normal day. We got 10 seconds. Good, single-sided moves are things that we typically leave out of our workouts because quite frankly, they're annoying, but they're really helpful for stability, balance, and everything that you need to be functional within your activities. Two, one, rest. Good job, guys. All right, now we hit the core and some stability with those reverse lunges and your twists. Three, two, and one. So arms up, take that twist. We hold tight through the core. 
So that midline is what's determining your strength and your stability through this movement. We challenge it by moving forward and backward with the legs while twisting through your torso. So it's a little bit of that mind muscle connection. We got 10 seconds here. Great job, guys. Good, focusing on the breath. Nice tucker, three, two, and one. All right, that pulse squat jump ladder. So maybe we try to get deeper into the pulses on this round. Three, two, and one, here we go. So as we come down, guys, focusing on driving those knees slightly out to the side so that we're never bowing in, all right? We're creating that space between the knees so that we're really getting strength through the glutes, hamstrings, and obviously our quads, which I'm sure are burning a little bit on these pulses. 10 seconds, stay low, chest is high. Yeah, Gabby, nice, absorb right back into that squat. Awesome, five seconds, guys. Three, two, one, rest. All right, 12 seconds. I'm gonna give you an extra two because I'm feeling nice, all right? We're going into round three, and this is our best round, all right? Grab some water. Here's where we challenge ourselves. We're starting with the inchworm walkouts. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Ready, go. This round is where we leave it all out there, okay? One more shot at each movement. Let's go. Controlling the move on the walkout part. Those legs stay as straight as you can keep them, reaching your heels back towards the ground as you lift. Core is tight. That push-up is a full body movement. 10 seconds, try to get one to two more in. There we go, nice, good. We got three, two, and one, rest. All right guys, quick, deep breath, shake it out, moving to those lateral bounds, getting functional in those side to side movements. Three, two, and one, let's go. Good, so as you're jumping, I want you to land, absorb into that squat, hold your stability, and then jump to the other side. Nice, there you go, Gabby, perfect. Good hold, yes, Tucker, good. Chest stays nice and high. Yes, what's up, guys? 10 seconds. Here we go, focus on the core. Last five seconds. We got three, two, and one, rest, all right. All right, guys, so let's try to get that back knee a little bit lower on this last round for our reverse lunges, all right? Focusing on the uh, absorbing into the move a little bit more. Arms up, two, one, we step back, take that twist. That knee should be one to two inches off the ground, tight through the core as you twist. So we're not throwing our arms, all right? It's really those obliques. Think about like a Russian twist as you're turning side to side. Yeah, nice, good, good, good. That's it. Arms stay up, forcing those shoulders back. We got 10 seconds here. Doing a great job, guys. Down to three, two, and one, rest. All right, shake those legs out. Deep breath, you got 30 seconds. The pulsing squat jumps. Moving in three, two, and one, ready, go. Pulsing squat jumps, we come down for one, and jump, absorb into that squat, sink back down, drive it up. Maybe we try to get a little bit higher on the jumps. Sink back down, chest is high. Yes, as you land, weight comes back into your heels. You're over halfway, guys. 10 seconds to go. Good, we got five, four, three, two, and one. Rest, nice job, guys, good work. Awesome, I think that's, like time-wise, I think that's perfect. Thanks so much, Laura. I really appreciate thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, no problem. Great to have you guys. Yeah, yeah thank you, guys. And everybody, um, that was just a little example of free-for-all fitness. It's literally from your home. We offer multiple classes a day. Uh, the more people that join, the more classes we're going to offer and the more instructors we get to bring on. Um, and definitely hit me up about corporate packages because what a great way to encourage your employees to be in shape then to offer them private classes like this and then reward them for doing the public ones. So uh, hit me up and I'm excited to see the rest of the day. Thanks a lot, everybody. Bye guys. Thank you.